We had a little bit of technical issues, but I think we've got it now. So let's get started. Can I do the next one? We'll see. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it did. So I'm just going to hold it down like that. There we go. Y'all, I took the slicer core off of this because I just want them peeled. I'll, I'll do the rest of it. But I just want these peeled. So I want to slice them up the way I want them. And then I am just going to cut around this core like this. Don't want to waste any of it. And I'm not going to waste any of it because I am making, I've got my, gar hang on buddy, I've got my garbage bowl sitting over here. We're going to make a couple of things out of that. That's the little one I want to do. So, not going to waste any of these beautiful apples. These Johnny Golds have quickly become my favorite. I'm just going to admit that right now. Now we just want to cut these into about quarter inch pieces. Probably 23 pieces. So that's about hmm. Y'all, I love these Johnny Goals. Can I try? Yes, honey. There you go. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, that's the best apple I've ever had. These are the best apples that I've ever had. No, no, buddy. No, no. Any of us I've ever had. So I'm just dicing these up. Quarter inch thick. Putting them in my big pot back here. You need about five pounds, I think it is. Wait, five yeah. pounds? Five That's pounds of lot. apples. Five pounds of apples? <laughs> That's a hard one. And as you can see, my little kitchen helper's in here. He's always down to help unless he isn't. <laughs> And if he's not, he is not in here, but you can guarantee he's into something. Yeah. 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 Now I'm trying out a new microphone and just to see how the audio is because I want to try to make things better, better videos with better audio. So if y'all could let me know what you think about this, it may take me a little bit to get everything figured out with it. So please, 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 kind of give me some uh, learning room here to get this, to get used to this, because I have never had one of these. I've never used one of these. I never thought I would, but here I am. All right, so there's that. All right, y'all, I'm just going to get these. Okay, hang on. I'm going to get these. All peeled up, chopped up, and in my big pan. And then I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to add the rest of the ingredients. You it's got it? On me. Yeah, they're very juicy. Yeah. You think? Yeah, I think so. Now, I don't have everything peeled and ready yet, but while I'm adding my diced apples in there, I'm also going to add two teaspoons of lemon juice. And every time I put an apple in there, I'm just going to stir it around. This keeps the apples from turning brown. And I'm just going to stir them around. Make sure they've got some of that lemon juice on them. There we go. Now I can continue getting these apples peeled and diced.
we got our apples done. Ta-da! So, now we're going to move on. We're going to add a fourth cup of water. And this calls for one cup of good quality Kentucky bourbon. It says they use Jim Beam. And this is what I've got. Okay. I am not, we are not, well, I shouldn't say that. I am not a bourbon drinker. So, and here comes Mr. Man in through here. So You're we're, I'm hungry. I heard you. I'll get you something in just a minute, okay? So, we're just going to measure this out. Wait, do we have any pizza? Just a minute, honey. Now, I will make me a good old hot toddy if I have me a head cold or something like that. Because that's just how I roll. And I've got about a half cup so far. And I'm just using the plain Jim Beam for that. And then I've got some Jim Beam apple. And oh my, how good that smells. I apologize, y'all. I apparently have everything in the world going on at my house right now. Pap got home from his salmon fishing trip late last night. Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and pour all that in there. Okay. Okay. So I thought the apple would add some really good flavor into this. It's, I mean, it's bourbon apple butter so we're going to pour that in our pot then we want a cup of brown sugar and we want to make sure that's packed in good uh i am here's a half cup because the one cup scoop will not fit into my canister here so I'm going to make sure that is packed in there because I am a huge fan of brown sugar all right there is one cup of brown sugar Get the lid back on that. And got it everywhere. Now it calls for a half cup of apple liquor or apple juice. Well, I don't have any apple juice. So here's what I'm going to use I'm going to use Captain Morgan Spiced Apple Rum. And it calls for a half a cup of that. That smells divine. Divine. Now I know that this is not the apple liqueur that they're talking about. But that's what I'm adding. That's what I have. So that's what I'm adding. No sense in me going out and buying more. When I have this beautiful stuff sitting here. So there's that. Now you. Like I said. You can switch the apple liqueur out for apple juice. But y'all. I don't think you can switch the bourbon out for anything else. You can try. Okay. But it is a bourbon apple butter. So there is that. Now I'm going to see if we can get this open. It calls for two tablespoons of molasses so this is a two tablespoon measure just gonna stick that down in there and get that out 
Oh, I love molasses. I love them. I'm going to grab my other mother mother and spoon over here and get all that out of there. Oh, yeah. There's that. Make sure I want to clean up my molasses lid a little bit so I can get it open next time. Mm, 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 mm. Two teaspoons of cinnamon and I just totally use my teaspoon. Y'all can hear my dehydrator going over here. All right, so two teaspoons of cinnamon. Maybe a little extra. They're heaping. Don't be judging. So there's one. One and a half. There's two. Because this is a half teaspoon measure. Now, it calls for allspice. I don't have any allspice. Apparently, I used all of that. I used all of that making something else, and now I have none. So, yeah, well, we're just going to let that go. Oh, no. It calls for a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. It says freshly ground. I do not have freshly ground. I have just the ground. And a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. Now, I know cloves are not real popular <laughs> with some people. I do like them. I love the smell of them. Call me weird, but I do. So there's our cloves. And then half a teaspoon of salt. And y'all, I'm just using my pink Himalayan. Like I always do. And there's that. Alright. We are going to turn this on. We want it to bring it up to a low boil. We'll get all this mixed in. I can't wait to taste this. I seriously can't wait to taste this. It's, mm, I don't know. I think it's going to be good. I think so. I just can't wait. And again, I'm making these, well, most of these will go as Christmas presents. I just think that making something from scratch or homemade, and I love to make like little baskets and put jams and jellies and, you know, homemade vanilla or homemade cinnamon extract or whatever, and maybe... You know, brownies in a jar where you put the brownie mix in a jar and you can vacuum seal it or some kind of little dessert in there. Maybe even a loaf of bread. Or if they're into it, you could do a sourdough starter. That would be really neat. Uh -oh. So many things. I just, I like to mix it up. I like to, and my kids don't like it. Some of them more than others, but, you know. Oh my goodness, it smells divine already. 
It really does. Alright, so now we're just going to let that come up to a boil. We're going to turn it down a little bit. I need to find the lid to this pot. Yeah, I need to find the lid to it. Now, I've already made a mistake. I was not supposed to add all that all at once. I was supposed to add the bourbon and the water with the apples, bring to a boil, and cook on a low boil for 10 minutes, and then add all the other stuff. Yeah. Y'all, I, I get to talking and get myself in trouble. It just, it never... <laughs> Never fails. But y'all, we're going to make the best of this. It'll be all right. Ain't nothing going to go wrong. We're going to make the best of it. Right? Right. So, we got this. It's looking really good, y'all. I am letting it cook down just a little bit more because I want... Some more of that liquid to evaporate so that we get a good thick butter out of this. So I am going a little bit over the 30 minutes that they suggested. And I'm probably going to do, we'll, we'll just see how long it takes. Y'all, yeah, it smells so good in here. It's starting to look better. Starting to really cook down. Liquid's evaporating. So we're going to let it go. I'll check it again in another 10 minutes or so. But I just really want that just a little more cooked down than what that is. Because y'all, I want some really good butter. All right, we'll check this in another 10 minutes, and that will put us right at 50 minutes cook time. Y'all, we have accomplished greatness here. <laughs> in my eyes, anyway. We have cooked down, and oh my gosh, it smells so good in my house right now. I'm going to turn my heat off on my stove eye. I'm going to take my lid over here. I'm just going to put it in the sink. I've got, I'm going to lift you guys up and show y'all what I've got going on over here on this side. So let me adjust the camera and I'll be right back. Alright y'all, I hope you can see me way over here. I am just going to add this over here into my blender. Mm, 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 mm. This smells so good. You know, I'm still getting used to this microphone. I'm used to talking a little louder so that you guys can hear me when you're sitting over there. <laughs> and now I don't have to do that. Now I don't know. And I keep hitting it. And I'm sure that that does something, but I don't know. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alright, let's see if I can get... No, I can't. I just want to see if I could just get this all poured in there, but I can't because my cabinet is right there. I can't get the pot up there. So, I'm just going to have to wash my blender the side of it when we get done with this because I am losing little dribbles of liquid. I can't wait to taste test this y'all can't because it smells so good. Like I have walked in and out of my house a few times and 
You're getting the apple, you're getting the cinnamon, all the things. So, of course, we used bourbon, but the alcohol has all been cooked out of this. So, no biggie. Let's see if we can do this. Oh. Yeah. And I'm sorry if I keep hitting the top of my microphone. I apologize. All right, let me take this to the sink. All right, y'all, yeah, we're going to put the lid on here. Let me move my blender. Oh, no, I'll just have to leave it sitting there. You want to make sure that your lid is on good. Because, y'all, this is hot. Okay. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> My poor little blender don't sound so good, does it? Let me grab a spoon. It may be time for a new one. <laughs> I am hard on these small appliances. Oh my gosh. Y'all. Hang on. I've got to try this. Sorry, I don't mean to look at you over my glasses. Gotta try this though. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Now I've got to get this off here. Look at that. Can y'all see? Whoa. Mm. This is on point mm, mm, mm. all right let's move over to the other counter and let's get this in jars right now <laughs> all right we're gonna make a lot work of this i'm just going to use my blender to pour this in here i am putting mine into ow mm. I'm putting mine into half pints. And I'm leaving about a half inch head space. Y'all. You all. Now, I was unsure about this recipe. I'll, I'll be honest with y'all. I was unsure about it. Simply because of I knew that I, I am not a bourbon lover. I think I'm going to get five out of this. Let me grab another jar out of the dishwasher. Mm -mm -mm. Oh no, maybe a little bit short. Let me scrape this out and say, maybe not. Maybe I've got enough in here. Oh yeah, I'm going to have plenty. So I'm getting five half pints out of this. And I am going to leave my blender sitting over here. Because I want Pat's to taste this. And I keep hitting that microphone. I'm so sorry. Y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
gosh. I may have to make another batch of this because I need... I'm going to tap this real quick. So it kind of settles. Not real hard because you don't want to bust your jar. Okay. Then we'll clean this really good. Well, I swear if one of these unseals, I might have to cry. I just might have to cry. There we go. Here's one. Oh my gosh. I want, I want to see what he thinks. I wish that he would let me um, record his reaction. He's still camera shy. We'll work on him. We'll get him there. Right? Y'all, I'm trying some new lids. I got these at Tractor Supply. They're called Roots, Roots and Harvest. We're going to see. We are going to see. I am almost out of cannon lids. And I've not seen any on clearance, but I caught these on a good little clearance sale. Still not as cheap as I would like for them to be, but you know. Ow! That one's very hot. Alright, there we go. So we're going to get these five little half pints into my electric canner. I'm going to water bath these for 15 minutes. And then that's it. We're done. I can clean up this mess and move on to my next apple project. Which is, I think, caramel apple jelly? Maybe? We'll see. There is our beautiful bourbon apple butter. Y'all, I took some up to Pat's. He is up on the hill here at the homestead. And I took some up there to him for him to try. And he said, we need to go get some more of those apples and make some more of that. So we may make another trip to the orchard and get some more of those Johnny Goals. Because that was the last of them. But we may make a trip up there and grab some more. And make some more of this. Because that's enough for Christmas. And maybe one extra jar there. <laughs> we'll see. But thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for supporting our little channel. If you like today's content, please give us a thumbs up. And comment below. That always helps our channel grow. Continue to grow anyway. And Aiden and I would be tickle pink if you hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. And join our little channel family. And see all this delicious content that's being put out. So, anyway, much love to each and every one of y'all. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.